Oh my, it's snowing. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Bryce Wiley Superstar Mode series on Madden NFL 09. Sorry for the massive delay here in videos. I really wanted to make sure that this week we definitely got this finished. I wanted to get to this series here. I'm recording it on Monday morning. I'm not sure if this is going up on Monday or Tuesday yet. But hey, it's good to be here on Madden 09, here with hopefully the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. We are now in the postseason. For those of you that are not able to remember because it's been too long since the previous episode. So we played the first eight games of this year and then simmed the next eight. We made it to the postseason, and now we're here to take on to White Freeney in the playoff matchup. Tom Brady trying to lead this team to a Super Bowl with the franchise left tackle here, Bryce Wiley blocking so here we go getting underway Lawrence Maroney out in motion and that ball is cut on the outside we start with a first down also going to be getting backbreaker up so keep an eye out for those series want to be able to wrap them up and then move on to something else as a small side project nicely done there Looked like Indy rushed like one defender at us what was that play call was that the old school quarterback contain here I gotta see Remember the old quarterback contains where their idea of containing was spying? I think that's what we see right here. Yep, that's exactly what it was. One man rush. So keep in mind, there are some a lot of things that have gotten better in Madden over the years. And the way contains are operated is probably one of them. So first and 10 now from the 43. Tom Brady hopefully ready for a big day. I do not want this to be the last episode. Nice block, Bryce. One yard. Maybe zero. It's a new set of downs, and we run this one outside. Maroney getting behind Bryce Wiley for a couple of yards. We'll see if we're able to, uh, you know, contain Dwight Freeney, keep Brady upright, give Maroney some chances. Now we got Welker left, Moss outright. And here's the third down play. It is short for Kevin Falk, and we do not get there. So it's an opening drive stop here for the Colts. And they are not able to add points here. It's Brady versus Peyton. Somehow I forgot about that matchup here. I kept thinking about Wiley and Dwight Freeney, Robert Mathis. But uh, no, Peyton versus Brady. Back again, like the good old days. Here's Brady looking for a quick throw. Hold in by Randy Moss. I want to see him get deep, though, in this game. We got to have Moss... Go like 50 yards to the house. We want to see Randy Moss have that big moment. Unfortunately, in this series, it has not been the Randy Moss show as I had hoped. Here's Wiley. Uh-oh. Could not stop Dwight Freeney. I'm sorry, Lawrence. Another run here left of Wiley. We finally get Maroney out there, and he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and ten here. Wiley puts Freeney on the ground. And Kevin Folk again, the third down recipient. Not cutting it here. No points on our first two drives. A lot of these games have been pretty low scoring, so maybe it's another one here. We're actually going to upgrade run blocking on this drive because Freeney is just destroying us in that department. And we're not moving the ball, so we're going to switch it up now. End of the first quarter coming up right here. I wonder if now the pass blocking is going to be an issue. I don't think it will be, but it is Freeney, so perhaps. Here's Brady. Out to his left. Jabbar Gaffney gets us some breathing room. I like this play call here. I do not think it's in Madden now. We have a crossing pattern here, and then you got a post corner concept on the outside. I would love uh, to see this play in the current Madden. Maybe it's in a playbook I don't use. There we go. Moving the chains. Maroney. Back to the air once again. There's the deep ball. No, it's deflected. Couldn't see exactly who that was intended for, but it looks like Moss. What's it going to take for someone to get some offense in this game? Jackson on the edge. That makes it third and three. See, this is putting some real faith here in the left side of our line. We got Bryce Wiley trying to lead the way, and there's no shot. Let's go. Three drives, three failures here for the Patriot offense. We're still scoreless. Bringing that safety down late. Better watch the blitz. 
Maybe hit Moss downfield on that double move. Uh-oh. No! Brady slips the sack and somehow gets it to Maroney, who gets the first down. That was like the worst snap of the series there for me, and Brady bails us out because he has like 99 awareness, and it's almost impossible to sack him in this game. They're blitzing here. They have no deep safety. Unless they have Bethay. Yeah, he is over the middle now. But we got Gaffney. He's got the first down. Finally a chance at some points here. Angle route here. I mean, this is the, what the Patriots do now. Tom Brady knocked down by Dwight Freeney. Man, I'm whiffing on a lot of these blocks right here. No, we can't call that play. Timeout. Uh, Brady, uh, his shoe fell off. We're calling it again. Colts call timeout, jump off sides, false start, anything to get out of this play call. Although it's a soft box. We gotta do it to the best of our ability here. We're gonna drill this safety. Leave Freeney unblocked, take the chance. Mankins, you get the safety, I'll get Freeney actually. Does that make sense? Um, we got a chance here! Touchdown, Lawrence Maroney! Okay, that's what I get for trying to uh, overrule the genius minds behind the New England Patriots offense. Stuck with the draw, even after I called timeout. That was amazing. I didn't like that play call, but if there was ever a time where it was like possible to work, that was it. They had like four guys in the box and you know whoever was in the middle there their nose tackle like didn't beat the one-on-one -on -one, so that was pretty easy actually although it took a broken tackle too from Maroney first and ten don't whiff here don't let Freeney change the first half he goes right around us Gaffney got it third and short for Brady need to somehow react to Freeney faster he's able to get past us before we're out of our stance normally another bad third down though should have called the draw play once again. And with that, how they have like a 10 second possession? Why is the clock moving here as we take over the, the football? I have no clue how the clock could actually be moving right now. But I don't think we're going to try doing much here before halftime. Maroney gets one. Let's take it to the break here. It looks like the Colts tied it up seven apiece here. On to the second half here in this tied game. Could be the last episode of the series. It will be if we do not win. Brady here starting out at the 20 yard line and we're going with one of my favorite plays here, the play action with all these crossing routes. You can really shed a defense with this play. Whoa, man, these throws by Brady under pressure are incredible. First and 10 from our 32. Picked up the rush. Downfield. Knocked away again for Moss. They double covered him that time. The Colts had some players here on defense. Who's that linebacker? Would that be like Gary Brackett or something? Oh, the juke by Watson probably cost him right there. He's got like the brick wall defender there. I'm assuming that's Gary Brackett. I haven't like heard, said, or anything with his name in like 10 years. I'm so happy Pro Football Reference exists. I have to go to this website all the time for stats, rosters, old stuff, whatever. And number 58 on this roster would have been... Oh, I nailed it. Gary Brackett. The 5'11 middle linebacker. Here's Brady outside for Randy Moss and a new set of downs. Here's the second down now. Throw for Brady. Under pressure again. Gaffney can't make the catch, and we got to call a timeout. Gaffney's hurt. Third and ten here for the great Tom Brady. We're going to bring Moss in motion here. And Brady looking for Watson. No, another one. The Colts defense. They actually were pretty good here. Also, the Patriot defense was quite great in this era. Here's a first down pass from Brady, and there we go. But we're good for like one of those a drive. When do we start stringing those together, or do we? There's the toss outside. We're trying something new and not getting any different results. Man, at this time, the Colts for receivers, they had Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, and Pierre Garçon. What a trio there. I remember when uh, Garçon was really just a deep threat for them. And when he left, I just kind of assumed like most deep threats, he really wouldn't have a, a great career after that. But he became much more than just a speedy receiver. 
and even now he's not like the most dominant deep threat but i think he's a a quality number two low end number one option second down and 11 brady up top there it is it's caught and there goes moss all the way 71 yards as he high steps in for the touchdown i got my wish everybody randy moss for six yes give me this angle we gave brady the time and he drops it in breaking the tackle of bob sanders an awesome safety before injuries really derailed his career that was awesome right there here's something weird about this team they had justin forsett although forsett was originally drafted by the seattle seahawks in the seventh round Somehow he ended up in Indianapolis in the same year and then back to Seattle all in 2008. What on earth happened here? I do not remember that ever. I never remember him being a Colt. Pretty solid running back though throughout his career. Had that nice resurgence with Baltimore. Now it's a 14-7 game here in New England trying to advance to the next round. And Brady throws a risky one up the seam. Second down and 10. Here's Brady underneath. Now it's caught by Chad Jackson. Keeps the clock moving here. Unable to uh, move through our defense. The Colts still only have seven points. Trying to put the game on ice here. And here's the third and eight. Brady has Moss again. First down. New set of downs. Big hit there on Freeney. And that allows us to get another nice chunk. Three minutes to go here, and here's Maroney out to the right-hand side with his best run of the game, and he put the ball on the ground. Bryce Wiley collects the first tackle of his career. I didn't want to have to do that. So, are they able to do anything with it? Dominic Rhodes? Is that Dominic Rhodes? I haven't heard that name in probably longer than 10 years. Third down and seven, sacked. Man, this defense is so good. We do not have to play anywhere near perfect. 2.30 to play in this game. We want the wide receiver screen. Randy Moss jump cuts his way upfield and picks up six. Brady changed his side there. He wants to run behind Wiley and Marcus Pollard. Second down here. Big play here. This is one we got to get. And we... Do an okay job, I guess, on Freeney. Not exactly, though. He gets outside and makes the tackle in open space. I guess uh, we found our match here. The future Hall of Famer, Dwight Freeney. Never forgiving him for sacking Teddy Bridgewater, though, against the Cardinals in that one game where he beat Matt Khalil on the spin move like he beat everybody on the spin move. Third down and four. Kevin Falk lost the football. You're kidding me. Brady makes the tackle now. Two fumbles late by the Patriot backfield. Oh, man. Incomplete here for Dallas Clark. Five-yard penalty. Sacked again. And then 14 yards to Marvin Harrison. And another throw where they can't get it. I can't believe how good this defense is. The Colts got their chances today, and it's still not over. But just major credit to our defense here. They're so good. I kind of want to play a game on here with like a bad defense and see what it's like because pretty much every game in here is under 30 points scored which is really below NFL average even for this time period. Made sure to upgrade run blocking on this possession. Now let's see if we can dominate Dwight Freeney for once. Man they have me starting out in a different direction and again they make the play in the backfield. Dwight Freeney's all over the place. Big screen pass coming here on third down and 14. Brady out for Moss, and he's driven back to the three-yard line. The Colts will have 36 seconds, and they got to go about 52 yards here. Anthony Gonzalez is in the game. Dropped by Dominic Rhodes. Pass to Clark, and a penalty. We're going to win. 14 to 7. We have done it. Brady defeats Peyton Manning yet again. And we're advancing to the AFC Championship game, everybody. What a win here for Wiley and the Patriots. Although we tried our best to give this one away. 
you can uh, stop with the whole cadence, Brady. Just uh, end the game, please. And there we go. Patriots win 14-7. Randy Moss does get it done. He makes the ultimate difference today. Brady ends up going 23 of 32 for 247 yards, but only really one great play against this team, and it was a pretty good one. Moss ends up going for 70 yards and a touchdown, 115 on the day. And we did a pretty good job against a team full of Hall of Famers. From now on, every game can be your last. How do you handle the pressure? Pressure? This is what I was born to do. Absolutely. Will you be ready to do this again in a few days time? Hey, this is what we get paid to do, right? A playoffs victory. Pretty exciting, huh? How does it feel being in the national spotlight like this? I'm here to play football. That's the only thing that matters to me. There we go. Next game looks like we have the San Diego Chargers. And Phillip Rivers, Antonio Gates, Vincent Jackson, Malcolm Floyd. Man, was LaDainian Tomlinson still here? This might have been his last year in San Diego, right? 99 overall, LaDainian Tomlinson. Darren Sproles is out there. Gates. Oh, Chris Chambers. No Malcolm Floyd, apparently. But Chris Chambers, man, he was good. Luis Castillo. Igor Olshansky. I don't know all these guys by heart, though. I know some of them. Eric Weddle's only a 79 in this game. <laughs> all right. That's fun. That was fun right there, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll have another episode coming your way soon here as we continue the Bryce Wiley journey. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe here to the channel. Have a great day.